Hey, what's up guys? Today, I installed a Windows 11 into a non-supported hardware, which is this laptop that is projected here and it's running Windows 11. Now, when you're going to download or upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, Microsoft recommends that you use their PC Health Check software for you to see if your hardware is compatible with Windows 11. So that's what I did because I want to upgrade this laptop to Windows 11. Here it goes, I already installed it. PC at a glance, introducing Windows 11. We can go ahead and click check now to see if this laptop meets the requirements where it doesn't really meet it because the TPM should be 2.0. I checked the BIOS of this one and it's TPM 1.2. The processor is i7 6th generation which is, which is not supported with Windows 11. The rest are okay. So I want to show you that this PC is already done deal. It is running Windows 11 at the latest version. I'll also place the link on the description below so that you can download it and try to check your hardware. But then I didn't stop there. I just went ahead and download the Windows 11, which is basically free. When I installed it, it didn't ask for any license. Flashed it into a USB stick and installed it here with no problems. After the installation, I did have some a little bit kind of laggy uh, feeling when I was using it. But when I went to the Windows update settings, checked for update, update all the drivers after the update, then everything was smooth and good. Uh, disclaimer here, guys, if you did the PC Health Check software and your hardware isn't supported and you still want to have Windows 11, do it at your own risk. Your hardware, which is your laptop or your desktop, isn't the same with mine. So as Microsoft says on their website, you can still install it to non-supported devices, but there is still there will be issues that you're going to run into in the future. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching my video today. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.